people start their day with different things on their mind like what to wear check their social media work and how much money they can make not putting god first and suddenly in a moment they will die and the people will be troubled at midnight and pass away and the mighty will be taken away without a hand this is why you need the midnight prayer hello friends a blessed good morning to all of you it's now midnight and three minutes and we are here now on the altar of our church in port of spain and we are going to be blessing the water that you have been drinking bit by bit every single day because on sunday 18th of um, october we are going to have the day to beat depression but before i do this prayer i'd like you to take a look on this testimony right now how you are going to be able to beat depression because we have the testimony of Karel. Karel was suffering with depression, Pastor Marcos, from early, on an early age. Karel, when the, uh, her parents left, she was uh, molested at a very young age and she grew up with that, you know, depression within her. And she only overcame when she received the Holy Spirit. She only overcame when the, she decided to seek the healing for the depression that she had. This means that no matter for how long you might have been suffering with depression, there is cure, there is hope for you, there is a solution for you. From a very young age to an age of, she's a teenager now, she's 17 years old, you can see that she's very young still, but she has been a victim of depression. However, she overcame. No matter how old you are and for how long you might have been suffering with it, you are going to overcome as well, but you have to follow the steps that she followed in order for you to see the results that she saw. Feeling sad, abandoned, rejected and confused at the age of three. Also being molested at age four. She was rejected and suicidal by the age of five. Not knowing what to do blaming herself for her family problems. This story that you heard before, this was my story. Good day, my name is Carol and I suffered with depression. My depression started when I was three years old. It started when my family separated, my parents divorced, and I had a lot of insecurities and neglect from everybody. I always blamed myself for the situations that was happening at home for my parents separating because they will always argue about me. So I always closed off myself and I would pretend that I didn't know what was going on at home. After a while, my mom decided to leave home and she moved around a lot with my siblings and I. Whilst moving around, we went to different family members and I was neglected by everyone. Throughout this time, at the age of four, I was molested and this caused my depression to increase even more to the point where I would mask the pain that I would feel. And instead of going to my parents, to my mom, because I didn't want to cause another problem, I didn't want to speak about it because I already felt that all the problems that was happening was because of me. So instead, I would mask everything and at night when everybody else fell asleep, I would cry the entire night. And this happened for months. And eventually, my mom decided she wanted to move from there again, so we moved to another family member. And I was abused physically, emotionally, mentally, every way possible by close family members. And what caused it to, the depression to come down even stronger on me was when my mom decided to drop me by my aunt. And in my head, I was telling myself that not even my mom cares about me, that she would simply give me up without a second thought. 
and living by my aunt, I began to contemplate suicide because my aunt suffered with a lot of anger problems too and she would lash out and I would continue blaming myself and telling myself that I came into her life to cause even more problems. So at the age of five is when I started to contemplate suicide. Going through this, I was still neglected by people and I would try to find love and happiness in everybody else. So I began stealing because I wanted to feel that happiness. I wanted to be accepted by friends. So I began stealing from my aunt and when she found out, that caused her to be, get even more angry to the point where she wanted to kill me. And at the age of seven is when we were invited to the church. I came to the church when I was seven years old with my aunt and despite being in the church, there was still a lot of pain and anger and grudges that I held against family members because I wasn't ready to forgive them because I blamed them for the life that I had before. And I was in the church for five years before I decided that the void that I had inside, I wanted to get rid of it. And I always heard from the pastors in the services, in the YPG meetings, every time I always heard that this void that I had inside, it couldn't be filled by the joy that people could give or the temporary joy that is offered. But the only thing that could fill that was the Holy Spirit. And that is when I decided to start to seek for the Holy Spirit. I called everybody that hurt me and I asked for forgiveness. I began to forgive those who I couldn't reach out to. But more importantly, I had to forgive myself. After I was able to forgive myself, I began seeking for the Holy Spirit. I began wanting more. And when I received the Holy Spirit, that void was filled. And today I am no longer sad, I'm no longer depressed, I'm no longer insecure, but instead, today I have the joy of the Holy Spirit and I overcame my depression. Praise God, a very great and powerful testimony. And we have the assurance that you also will beat depression. And you can give a bottle of water to a friend of yours. Tell that friend of yours or family member, someone else, to take part of this prayer together with us. Every midnight, every morning, 5 a.m. 5 a.m., right? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. and also in the afternoon on CNC3 or here on our YouTube, you are going to be praying together with us at 5 p.m. So, Pastor June is going to pray for the country and I'm going to be praying for those of you that have your water with you. Please close your eyes. Our Lord and our Father, we pray and we ask you for you to bless our country, for you to bless Trinidad and Tobago. My Lord, stop with the violence, stop with the crime. My God, let your hands to be upon this nation. I pray and I ask you on behalf of the authorities of this nation, our Prime Minister and all the other ministers, my Lord, I pray for you to strengthen them, give to them your wisdom, your knowledge. I I pray on behalf of the teachers, the nurses, the doctors, my Lord, the police officers, each one of them protecting their lives and give it to them strength in order for them to provide the best for Trinidad and Tobago. My God, we also ask you to bless and consecrate this water that your people have with them. Those that have received it from a friend that have been a victim of depression those that overcame and they have given to someone else god sanctify this water because as your people are in this purpose preparing themselves for sunday 18th the day they are going to beat depression we determine and we declare lord jesus christ that people will overcome they are going to be able to make and in jesus name they will overcome it i consecrate and I bless this water in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My friend, you can sip it and be blessed right now. Praise God. So, friend, today, uh, yesterday, we could not be on CNC3, 
because if you have realized we're still on our generator here in port of spain due to the storm the wind storm that we had today in this afternoon uh, some of the trees closed by the church they have fell and the posts went down and they're still working now to fix it but tomorrow pastor junior not tomorrow today exactly. thursday today. we are going to be live straight from our church here in port of spain to cnc3 and also here on youtube exactly pastor philip and we are going to be determining determining a total blessing for those couples who are watching us right now and also for the single and also we are going to teach them how to have a blessing in their love life praise god so friend be connected with us now five in the morning with pastor marcus or at 5 p.m with pastor junior and we are going to be back tomorrow midnight have yourself a very blessed night. See you.